2024 is a really important year. There are a number of great composers who have significant jubilees in 2024. And the two that are closest to my heart, because I do a lot of their works, are Schoenberg and Bruckner. Schoenberg was sort of the granddaddy of them all. And 2024 is the 150th anniversary of his birth. Well, I wasn't conducting at the 100th anniversary, so here we go, 150th anniversary. But his other huge masterpiece is Gurrelieder. Now, when Schoenberg originally wrote this, it was a song cycle which he wrote as a present for his wife, and it was written for piano and voice, one voice. So, of course, 10 years later, when Mahler has taken everything to its logical end with his Symphony of a Thousand, the Eighth Symphony, we've kind of gone as big as we can go, and it's almost like Arnold Schoenberg saying, OK, I'm going to take it one further. So he writes his little song cycle that was for piano and single voice. Instead of single voice, we've now got five singers and a narrator. And instead of a piano, we've got the biggest orchestra you can fit, or more realistically not, you can't fit on a stage. Plus, not just one, not just two, but three choirs. And I think it's incredibly exciting because this is a Sydney premiere. People come from around the globe to hear this work because it's done so seldom, simply because of its enormity. And the other reason that people rarely do it is you need an extraordinary tenor for the central character of Voldemar. And um, we're just incredibly fortunate right now that there are two tenors internationally who sing this, word, or this work. One is Stuart Skelton, who will be returning to us in 24 in Valkyra, as Sigmund, and the other one is the New Zealander, Simon O'Neill. So um, aren't we lucky? And I'm delighted to introduce Australian audiences to a soprano I've worked with many, many times in Berlin, in Vienna, in Hamburg, in Munich. Her name is Ricarda Meerbert. She's an extraordinary singer. And I know that she and Simon together are going to be able to communicate the love story between Valdemar and Torva that makes up the whole huge first section of this extraordinary work. Add to that three other great soloists, Deb Humble, who again, this country should count itself lucky to have an artist like Deb Humble. And I'm delighted that she'll be singing the Waldtaube, the wood dove, here we go, dove, gurra, the cooing, it's all starting to come together. There is also a peasant, and I've engaged the wonderful young Serbian bass, uh, Zava Vemic, who sang with me in Paris recently in Zalame, uh, a powerful and um, really commanding presence, will sing the role of the peasant. And then, um, Again, two marvellous Australian artists, Andrew Goodwin as The Fool, which is a, a bizarre role. And then there's the character of the speaker. And here we have the chance to hear Schoenberg looking to the future, because the role of the speaker is written in what we call Sprechgesang, which literally means speech singing. And Warwick Fife, who's a marvellous Australian artist, um, is going to be able to bring the precision and the character to the role of the Sprecher. So we've got a great lineup of soloists. And then something that is also very dear to my heart and to that of the orchestra is about the development of new talent. ANAM, the Australian National Academy of Music, is a very significant organisation in Melbourne, Melbourne based, but it's a national organisation. And so um, musicians of the ANAM, so the ANAM student body, are going to come and play as the extended body of the Sydney symphonies. And the choirs, Sydney Philharmonia and extended choirs. Um, this fantastic combination is going to be the exciting event of the first part of next year that every Sydney cider and audiences beyond the borders of Sydney are going to want to hear and not want to miss because it's certainly not going to happen again in a decade. <laughs> it may not happen again in anybody's lifetime. This is a one-off. I mean, Sydney has never seen a guru leader, never heard a guru leader. I'm incredibly excited to be the person who introduces Sydney audiences to this. That's going to be a week to remember.